What's good ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a, another guest replay on World of Tanks. Today we are taking a look at Sidious's replay in the Cromwell Knight, the British flag tank, the Cromwell which is just pasted in the Union Jack. So I'm feeling very patriotic right now and I do own one of these myself, but if you've not seen a Cromwell Knight before, it is the flag tank variant for the British tech tree. Well, not tech tree because it's a premium tank, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. The French have the FCM 50T Liberty and the Russians have the IS-3A Fatherland. I, I would consider the IS-3A to be the Russians flag tank because whilst it isn't the Russian flag that is today it is the soviet flag that was then so i would consider it to be the russian equivalent of the cromwell knight for example or the fcm 50t liberty dodging a shot from the vk 3001p right there sidious is just posting himself up on the middle ridge line here on redshire and he's going to start engaging the vanquisher ac1 but that shot unfortunately went a bit high his second shot strikes the vanquisher and tracks him and before he can finish him off his friendly nasson takes him out taking a ghost shot at the m6 and making sure that that one lands where it was supposed to he has some nice rear shots on this jagdpanzer 4 now and he manages to track him in place and just as his tracked target gets hit he takes him out taking him up to four hits of damage and two tracked assisted hits so far but this is very early game so far ladies and gentlemen you will notice that there are three enemy artilleries on the other team which Sidious like any medium tanker is probably thinking for God's sake and he wants to take those artilleries out he has a chance to get a pursuit cheese medal in this game Two critical hits on the VK-3001P. The first shot took out his engine, the second shot his ammo rack, and the follow-up shells keeping him in place through the inner drive wheel and then finishing him off. Taking him up to nine hits of damage and two kills so far. Matilda spotted long range. An easy eight Sherman up ahead of him. Sidious is now going to push into the little river defilade right here and then push over the hill to try and get some shots away at the OI and the Matilda posting up on the enemy pretty much where the enemy spawn um, but the the hill is a position where enemies quite frequently quite frequently oh, okay yeah that, that, that's, that's good English guys quite frequently defend their base from quite frequently let's remember that one for the future you know me and my words I don't know. I don't even know what I do sometimes. But the scores are level right now at 5-5. Five, five, and just as I say that, it goes to 7-5. He has the side of a jumbo here. Needing to lead the shells. The Cromwell Knight isn't the most accurate gun at range. And the jumbo Sherman just manages to dip into the defilade. Getting away from any kind of danger. But... He has some nice shots on the side of the OI. Unfortunately, the first shot did not manage to track him. It only damaged the tracks. And just before he can take a shot at the first enemy scumbag, the M44, he dips into cover, but he's producing a slight piece of his armor for Sidious to hit here if he can. He's trying to gauge the shot. No, that one was unsuccessful. He takes another shot speculatively. And another one as well, but no source on any of those. So now the enemy team has managed to take the lead. It is 9-7 in their favor. The tanks on Sidious's flank, or on the other flank, have fallen apart. And he's going to make his way over there to stop the enemies from reaching his base. I imagine he'll probably post up at the... F3 or 4 kind of area or E3 or 4 but he's going to have the mobility to come up behind this Sherman Jumbo and take him out the Panzer 38 NA is trying his hardest and 
One of the redeeming factors of this tank is that it is awfully bad at shooting on the move. Because it cannot fit a vertical stabilizer and the gun stats for on the move are just horrible anyway. But once you get close enough, it doesn't really matter because dispersion doesn't take too much of an effect. And the jumbo gets taken out successfully. So Sidious is taking some speculative shots on the move again at the T67. But he's going to close the distance once again, trying to save his friendly artillery. But the T67's rate of fire is just too good. And he takes out the Hummel. So he's going to close the distance now. And now that he has closed the distance, shooting on the move is not too much of an issue. He finishes off the T67, keeping himself mobile so that he doesn't get hit by enemy artillery. And it is currently 2 versus 6. So he could be in contention. And that was the reason why he was staying on the move. Because the enemy artillery were firing at him. But the Cromwell being as mobile as it is. And especially the Cromwell Knight. With its increased hold traverse. It is slightly better for being more mobile. Took a big hit from the Panzer 4H there. I think that guy must have the dirt gun. Oh no he doesn't. My bad. I thought he was at full health but he is not at full health. But the Cromwell is better at circling than the Panzer 4 and Sidious successfully takes him out. But as I was saying guys he is in contention of a Kolobanov's medal if his friendly Panzer 38 NA decides to get taken out because it is now 1 versus 5. But the Panzer 38 NA seems to be heading off in a completely different direction. Now Sidious spots the OI. It could be a tricky target to kill. If, if if the OI manages to get a decent shot away, he would easily be dead. He's dodging so many shells right now and dodging all of the artilleries as well, which he has now spotted. Can't blame him for loading the premium rounds in this situation, despite being able to flank the OI quite easily. He wants to make sure that all of those shots go through and do what they are supposed to do. Up to 23 hits of damage now with 5 kills. Trying to dodge the enemy artilleries as well as the enemy Matilda. Taking some speculative shots on the move once again. But the Cromwell Knight's accuracy on the move is terrible. However, now he has the view range to keep the enemy artillery spotted. But it just dips out into the defilade, back into cover. And stops being lit up at that time. Unfortunately, he is unable to gauge the Kolobanov's medal now because the Panzer 38 NA is still alive. And there are only four enemy tanks on the team remaining. Had he have waited a slightly bit longer, he probably would have been able to secure it. But it doesn't matter because he's going to have a fantastic game anyway. Closing the distance on the Matilda. The Matilda knows where he is. He's spotted to the enemy artillery. He's going to try and dip behind the hill for cover. Managing to dodge one shell. He's unspotted now. Gets spotted again as he comes up the hill. Goes straight through the Matilda with the APCR round. And now he needs to keep mobile. Moving in between the buildings to dodge artillery. Circling around to take cover behind the hill. Dodges all of the remaining artillery shells. And now he is in contention to earn the... Pasucci's medal. It is just him versus three artillery pieces. He has the M37 spotted. But that guy just moves into cover once again. He is eluding him very, very well. But the tricky part now is that Sidious only has 229 hit points remaining. And the M44, well, pretty much any of these artilleries would be able to kill him in one shot because the Cromwell is very lightly armored and the hate the he see i can't even speak today guys the high explosive rounds on these artilleries would manage to take him out should he get hit by them taking some shots on the move at the m44 once again but as you can see the on the move accuracy is absolutely terrible in this tank just to reiterate the point he drives into a building and now he really needs to move dodging the shells and that one actually hit him. He's now down to 91 health. But he's not spotted anymore. 
He can take a shot at this M44 and finish him off. Taking him up to 7 kills and having to deal with the remaining 2 artilleries which are platoon. So they could potentially work together to finish him off using their heat rounds. Not the, uh, not the high explosive rounds. You know, ar artillery only has he rounds. So yeah guys, my English. My English when I'm making videos is so good, but he needs to close the distance to these artilleries now. He roughly knows where they are around the K1, K2, K3 area. And he is going to push up and try and get the jump on them and finish them off. They're both very lightly armored. The AP rounds on his Cromwell should go straight through. Shouldn't bounce any of these rounds at all. It's just a case of making sure that they aren't looking in his direction. And as he crests the ridge, neither of them are looking his way. That shot, unfortunately, only did track damage. He needs to dip in between. Finishes the first M37 off. The second one misses. And now he can just do what he has to do. That one, unfortunately, misses. And that one finishes him off. 29 hits of damage. 9 kills. 10 critical hits. Two tracked assisted hits and two spotted assisted hits. One hell of a game from Sidious. Let's see how he did in the post-game stats. 48,000 silver earned. 9,786 experience. Nine enemy tanks destroyed. 3,370 damage done. 29 penetrations. A high caliber medal. A V Mastery badge. Radley Walters medal. Pursuchi's medal. Devastator medal. Top Gun medal. And only 55 damage blocked as well as 766 damage assist. Or assisted, I should say. But one hell of a game indeed in the Tier 6 British Premium Tank, the Cromwell Knight. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you did enjoy this replay. Until next time, I will catch you then. Have a great day and peace out.